Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Wells Fargo Bank and more specifically, we're going to talk about how to register for online access to look at your account on the Wells Fargo website and mobile app. So let's go ahead and get this started. So first off, if you're not familiar with Wells Fargo Bank, it is one of the largest banking institutions in the US. They might be the largest. I'm not too sure. If you happen to know, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. But I recently opened an account with them and I like to do online banking so that way I can always check my balance or check which transactions have happened recently. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to register for the Wells Fargo banking and app right now. So the first thing you want to do is once you've opened your account, you will need your account number and also your PIN number to register for online banking. Now with your account number, once you apply for the bank account, you'll immediately get notification of your account number on screen. However, they do not email it to you and it's not included in any of the paperwork aside from that first screenshot. If you missed out on it when you were applying online like I did, then you'll have to wait for the account number to be mailed to you or you can go to a branch and ask them what your account number is. So here is a copy of the letter that I received from Wells Fargo that notifies me of my account number. So account owner, which is me. And then also here is the account number. I've blacked it out for obvious reasons, but I have this letter with me now so I can go ahead and register online. Also, you're gonna need a PIN number to access your online banking. Same thing, they will normally mail that to you. So here is the PIN number notification that I received in the mail. So if you receive that, then you got your account number and your PIN number. If you don't have your PIN number mailed to you yet, you can actually go inside of a branch and have them set that up for you. Be sure to check the video description. I left some information on what to do to find your PIN number if you don't have it yet for Wells Fargo. So with those two pieces of information, now we're ready to go ahead and log in and register for your Wells Fargo online banking. So the first thing you want to do is go to the website. It's right up here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a link there. Once you're here in this website, then you want to go ahead and click on register for online access. And how do you do that? First, you want to click sign on right here. All right. So now that I've clicked sign on, it's asking for my username and password, which I do not have yet. So you want to look a little bit further down and click on enroll for Wells Fargo online access. All right. I went ahead and clicked on that. Once you're here, you want to scroll down a little bit further and it's going to ask for some basic information about you. So first off, it's going to ask for your social security number. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. You can use your tax ID number if that's what you had set your bank account up with. So I'm going to enter that in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and entered in my social security number there. Next, you want to go ahead and enter in your ATM or debit card your account number or your loan number if you're registering for loan access. For me, I have my account number. I also have my debit card, but I'm going to go ahead and use my account number. I'm going to enter that in off screen now. All right, now I'm finished. I went ahead and entered in my social security number and then also my account number. Next, I'm going to click continue. All right, so now here's the next screen. It's saying, let's verify your identity. I'm going to go ahead and enter in the pin number, and that's going to be the pin number that I set up for my debit card. If you don't have that yet, again, you will get the PIN number mailed to you in the mail. Once you receive it, you can change it. I've already changed my PIN number, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that in off screen now. All right, so now it's accepted my PIN number. Now I'm going to create my username and password. So the first thing it's going to ask for is my email address. Now this is the email address that will be associated with your account, and this is the one they're going to send notifications to. So go ahead and enter in your email. I'm going to do that off screen now. All right, I've went ahead and entered in my email address. Next, I'm going to create a username. So this is going to be the username that's used when you log in along with your password. So let me go ahead and enter that in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and entered in a username of my choice. Be sure to follow the directions that are there below. They do have certain security requirements that must be met in order to accept your username. Next, I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. And this is the password that I will use when logging into my account. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and entered in a password. And then next, you'll need to verify the password here. So that way they can make sure that you're entering the same create password along with the verify. And I'm going to click continue now. All right, now this screen pops up. It says check your email. They're saying that they've sent an email confirmation to me with more instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and get the email now. All right. So I went ahead and clicked over to my email. This is the email confirmation that I received from Wells Fargo. This is to confirm my email address. 
So what you want to do is go ahead and click on this little button right here, complete my enrollment. That will verify your email and then that way you can go ahead and enter your username and password. I'm going to go ahead and click on that now off screen. All right, I went ahead and clicked on the link and then it brought me here to the sign on. So you want to go ahead and enter your username and your password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in now off screen. All right, I went ahead and entered my username and my password. I'm going to go ahead and click sign on for the first time now. All right, so I went ahead and clicked sign on and Apple is asking if I would like to save the password for this particular account. I don't like to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and click not now. All right, now Wells Fargo is asking me to e-sign a couple of agreements. So it looks like there's quite a bit to read. Feel free to go ahead and look through that. I'm going to go ahead and click agree because I've already read it. So agree and agree. If you don't agree to those, then you will not get access to online banking. So I went ahead and clicked on that and scrolled down and then I'm going to click I agree. All right, I went ahead and clicked on that. This is the confirmation screen saying that I have been enrolled now and it's going to redirect me to my account within 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and click view online accounts now. All right, now I do have access to my Wells Fargo online banking. As you can see here, I have the initial deposit of $50 there in my account and I can view my everyday checking account there. It does have a quick guide. So if it kind of walks you through that, be sure to check the video description. I'll leave a link to a video of me going through the Wells Fargo online banking. Also, I want to let you know you do receive more email confirmations. Let me switch over to those now and show you what they say. All right, so here is the email confirmation from Wells Fargo confirming that I have online access now. It says, welcome to Wells Fargo online, has some general information on there. So that is how you register for Wells Fargo online banking access. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.